hello welcome back to my channel if you're new welcome if you're an old subscriber thank you welcome please stay please stay i promise we're going to make it interesting um over the years we've been we've had stories we've been taught we've been made to believe that once a relationship between a man and a woman crashes um for whatever reason the woman feels it the woman feels it most um but we can actually argue that because we know that um whoever feels it more is who um who was most invested in the relationship you know but you know there's a way we can nobody's nobody can actually guarantee everything you know we can't guarantee even the life we're living we can we can wake up tomorrow and poof we're gone so it's only god that can guarantee everything but there are steps you can actually take you know to protect your yourself and your heart like i always say i am not the wisest person you know i've not lived for a very long time I've actually, um, what I do is that I study trends. I learn from them. I learn from my own mistakes. I hear people's stories. And I also learn from them because we are all not going to live long enough to make those mistakes ourselves and learn. We're just going to try to, you know, learn from people, learn from ourselves. And then that's just pretty much it. So, for. Like I said, nothing is guaranteed, but there are just steps you can take. Firstly, you have to learn to... In fact, no, I think, gen, in general, just ask the right question. Yeah. Learn to ask the right questions. I know about the lovey-dovey... Don't jump into his bed yet. Wait. Ask the right questions. You have to ask him when you go on dates... Don't just go to where he's ish, ishka, ishka, ish, you know what I mean? Oh, there's nothing wrong with dancing and clubbing. No, 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 don't get me wrong. But there's something wrong with, you know, going to places where you can't hear yourself, where it's so noisy. I personally, I don't go on dates, that kind of places. I like to sit down and hear you out. Ask the right questions. Try and know the man. Like Fumi De Solo always says, know the man ask the right questions ask the right questions first of all get to know him get to know his family what he does for a living get to know um his likes for example um um the kind of food he likes you know his his opinion on some certain things even religion because I'm a Christian, but as a Christian, for example, we have denominations, we have Anglicans, we have Roman Catholics, we have um, um, Charismatics and the, and the rest, that is the Pentecostals and the rest. So you have to find out, is he an Anglican, is he a Roman Catholic, is he, you know, you really have to know where you stand. You have to, these are basic questions. So. The reason why you're asking these questions, it's not as if it's a, um, it's actually the basic. If the foundation is faulty, it's only a matter of time before it crumbles. Look at the world we live in now. If you really want something to stand, you have to build a healthy um, foundation. You have to know his, you have to ask him about his marital status. Yes. There are a lot of people that are married, but they are still out there trying to know who to deceive and who not. I'm so sorry to say this, but some married people, they actually disguise themselves as unmarried. Mm -hmm. I don't know why they do that, but you must be insane and sick to actually do that, to deceive a woman. But they do it, so you have to find out it's married, even if he lies. You still have to, apart from answering all the questions, you still have to observe. Be very observant. Ask the questions and observe. Give it time. 
ask him about his marital um, status his relationship status know exactly if he likes you and like 50 other people or if you guys are a community if it's a relationship or a community meeting if he believes in the concept of polygamy or someone that just winks it even his health status you have to know his hiv status i am sorry but these are the first things you should know if you know with time even if you don't ask him immediately but with time you have to really know who you're dealing with you have to know if he's a person if he believes it even if he's not a christian if whatever he believes in you have to know you really have to know seriously baby girl you have to know if so you don't you know come crying he did not tell me he didn't tell me he said he loved me but he didn't tell me ask him if he's dating for you know for a purpose you don't have to be shy about it all if i believe that if you're old enough to go on this kind of that is if you're dating on purpose you should be able to ask some direct questions if it scares him away okay at least you did your best because i think what happens to us is that most of the time we try not to put it out there we try not to say because we might scare him away tell him what you expect you know you don't have to you trying to say i i actually want a man that will be there for me i don't want a man that will do this just open your mouth and be open and ask the right questions marital status yeah i'm sorry i have to include it there but you have to know if you're dating a married man mm-hmm marital status genotype yes genotype very 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 important you have to try and watch out and see how he treats people know his family know him try as much as possible to also know his friends most times they are not so far away from his friends know his habits know if he drinks himself to stupor a lot of people are drunk sorry just try and know try and know if with time if you ask the right questions if you're observing him forget about the try and clear your head you actually it, 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 it will not hide it will just be standing there in front of you it's just for you to see who he is you will know as long as you ask the right questions try and actually and whatever he tells you if he tells you see i am not in this i know sometimes some people will tell you i'm not in this for the long run at the end of the day um you guys end up you know making it to the very end but very few cases in most cases when a man tells you i am not here and i'm just looking for fun please believe him more don't try and you know i want let let me know if let's just be going he's everything i want he's everything i want he's everything you want but he's not ready to give you everything you want hmm? except you want to waste your time if he tells you it's just for fun believe him more believe him if you want to have fun with him go ahead nobody's stopping you if he's not for fun no matter how he's everything he crosses the he he, he crosses the t's and dots the eye you have to wait for what you want or who you want you deserve that for yourself so i think asking the question the right question even food preference food preferences even to the least thing and like i said why asking the questions also observe because a lot of us are brilliant liars beautiful and handsome liars why asking the questions observe him too but sometimes the most times their words doesn't match their actions and always don't don't um forget this thing of um i don't want to be too pushy you know i don't want to be too pushy i don't want to be i don't want to be too forward baby girl be forward ask your questions too. men they're always forward they always ask you know they don't have to hide anything they'll tell you what they want so why won't you do the same since you're not a kid 
do the same and protect yourself and save your little heart. Hmm? Because heartbreaks can be painful. The more you go through them, the more it changes you and takes a part of you. The more you go through them, the more it cuts you open. Who knows? One day, you might just lose yourself completely. So the earlier you learn to ask the right questions, no matter how weird you look, just ask. You'll be fine. And you, as you're asking the right questions, be ready to, you know, answer the questions to ask. Religion, um, for example, uh, he's a Muslim, you're an Anglican, or you're a Christian, you have to find out. You have to find out genotype you have to know blog group you have to know parents states you have to know where he's from you have to know the language he speaks if you both speak the same language you have to know english is a lingua franca i know but you still have to know these things you have to know the situation of his family if his family are together if he comes from a separated family but there's anything wrong with that at all but you need to know and you need to tell him too because if you're asking him the questions you should be able to return the favor you should be able to answer the questions mm -hmm. what happened to his last relationship that is if he just came out from one and you just have to know what you're doing nobody is a baby you have to know so that's just it my dear ask the right questions at least even if it crashes tomorrow at least you tried ask the right questions um also observe it's not enough to ask questions observe too why you're going on these dates nobody hides it forever it's just a matter of time they will actually reveal who and what they really are and i pray you'll be there to catch it and when you catch it don't flip it under the rug under the carpet don't say well it, it's a human it's a human flow no, after nobody is perfect he's going to change the next time before you know it, from pushing you or from shouting on you he'll start pushing you from pushing you he'll start slapping you from slapping you he'll start beating you from beating you who knows one day he'll kill you so my dear we all want to save our hearts the dating game is not easy the dating pool is not easy but we can actually simplify it for ourselves by telling ourselves the truth yeah so thank you for listening we still have more episodes on life 101 with other thank you thank you so so much see you next time bye please don't forget to like subscribe share comment you know this channel is it's basically your show thank you thank you so so much stay safe don't forget to stay safe stay safe stay blessed till next time bye